So, uh, if you saw my last two videos, I borrowed the Navalis Hydra and the Phantom 2, the Max Ace Phantom 2 by Echo Praxis. Thank you. I have one more battle song, but before I reveal that, please like, comment, and subscribe. I forgot to say that for the last two. Check out the coffee in the description because it helps me cover shipping. This is something that I did not know I wanted to try, but let me give this away first. This is hefty. Oh my god, it's 6.03 ounces. This is the Kershaw Moon Salt. It is a, oh, that's bearings. That's definitely bearings. So if you know about Kershaw, they have really good EDC knives and really heavy balisongs. Kershaw is also known for the Lucha, which has several handle variants, such as the Flytanium's uh, Aluminum and the Flytanium's Titanium rehandles, as well as Zippy's uh, Z Lucha. The Kershaw Moon Salt is six ounces. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Yeah, it's seven ounce. Uh, sorry, it's stainless steel blade on stainless steel with with bearings. Um, oh my god. Um, I'm speechless. <laughs> Let's look at these handles first. Thanks first. Uh, it has a latch that I am not sure I can remove yet. I will ask. Oh. You straight up cannot remove this latch. This latch is not screwed in. This latch is held together by these press fit pins. So even if I wanted to try it without the latch, I cannot. That's so fucking funny. Yeah, so there's two sets of pins, one of which is holding the latch and the other one of which is basically preventing it from over rotating. Uh, and then it's a sandwich held together by these little nubbins. Uh, that I've seen also on the Lucha, but the Moon Salt's handles are a lot more like textured and like curved. Um, this is like a interesting dagger point, but it's uh, single edged, and there's a grind over here. Uh, but like at least just looking up, it's very. I I will. Oh, actually, here's the thing. I have my Lucha right here, so the blades are similar, but. The moon salt's more symmetrical, and uh, yeah. Also, despite the length of the, like I mean, this has zippy weights, but this is still under six ounces. Um, right now, I think I prefer the look of the lucha. Um, I like the way these handles look, like the sort of stone thing. This is a similar texture, uh, but the handles are like. Kind of a weird texture on the faces, um, but it is, it at least looks cool in that even though they mismatch, they like line up together with each other. So that's kind of cool. Um, only when it's open though, when it's closed, it doesn't look like anything. Uh, but it is nice that when it's closed, it's like mostly just kind of a straight line. When it's open, you got, it, it's got curves. Damn, she thick. She's got hips. Yeah. Flipping? Bad. It can flip. Um, it can flip. Oh, dare I roll over? Okay, let's see. Oh, oh, oh my god, I'm on the latch. I don't know latch drops. I am too scared to... Ah! I should have tested how sharp is this knife. This, sh this knife is really sharp. I gotta be super careful. Oh my god. Uh... Yeah, rollovers are nice-ish, uh, but uh, that is not really saying much. If you get a Kershaw Balasong, you are getting a e you're getting an EDC blade on Balasong handles. They're not meant for flipping. They are not meant for flipping. Um, but latch is easy to operate, very nice and convenient. Um, so if you wanted a bow song, you know, if you wanted a bow song for the looks of it, this latch is actually super nice, actually. Um, as far as latches go, it's heavy as fuck, and you can't remove it. But operating the latch for, like, EDC sakes, easy. So, yeah, if you wanted a knife, if you wanted a six-ounce knife that was really, really long relative to a folder, and you wanted to be able to do the basic opening 
and then use it for knife things, I guess. I don't really know. It's knife people. So I'm, I am a balisong person, but I'm not a knife person. Like I like knives, but they're, I'm not a knife person. So I, I couldn't tell you all the things about knives specifically, but a lot of people who are really into knives are really into this EDC stuff. This is 50, 50. Um, it doesn't, I think that's the blade steel. And then there's this is like tiny little logo. It's American made to pick up trucks. Um, but if you are an EDC person and you're looking for cool folders, some people have different kinds of knives like OTFs that are out the front. Some people have uh, spring assisted automatic knives. Some people just have standard folders. Some people have tools like, you know, the Swiss Army kind of style. Uh, this is fucking six ounces. It is so fucking heavy and it don't flip that good. Because at least with the Lucha, I feel more comfortable flipping the Lucha. Like, yeah, I, I added weights to make this more handle bias because I think it's hilarious. But, like, I can I can do tricks on this. Um, it is a good knife, though. I actually dulled this because this was before I got, like, other knives. Um, so, th theoretically, if I were to, you know, I could get that sharpened probably nicely. I don't see the point of the moon salt. It's funny looking. It's it's got character. It's got pizzazz. And it is it I don't know who it's for. Because it's not for Balasong flippers and it's not for EDC people really. I mean maybe, I don't know. If you really want a honking six ounce knife to carry on your person. I will say though, the latch is really nice. Um but yeah, it is a it's a heavy ass bearings knife made of steel on steel. So if you like this video, give it a like, give it a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are. Do you feel like this knife is for someone? Let me know. Um, but this was the Kershaw Moonsault. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Check out the coffee in the description. And uh, yeah, I don't know. This is, I like the Lucha more. And a lot of people don't even like the Lucha. So yep, happy flipping everyone.